So I'm coming to you today from New Glarus, Wisconsin. This is a town a bit south of Madison that was settled by people from the Swiss canton of Glarus and still has a lot of highlights of what Swiss or German life looks a bit like. As you walk up to the village hall, you can see a mural that proudly shares that New Glarus was settled by Swiss immigrants in 1845. A major landmark in New Glarus is the Swiss United Church of Christ, which stands at the end of the main thoroughfare. As you approach the church, you'll see this monument to the Swiss settlers. The inscription on the base of the monument reads, In memory of the first settlers of the Swiss colony, New Glarus, August 16, 1845. One of my favorite stops here is the New Glarus Hotel, where you can get authentic Swiss meals such as raclette and fondue. All throughout New Glarus, German touches abound, such as the sign you see over the door, Eingang, which means entrance in German. And this Bäckerei, or Swiss bakery, is my number one stop every time I come to New Glarus. The wide assortments of breads and pastries you can find here are the match of any you'll find in Switzerland. Now as interesting as the insides of these shops may be, it's on the outside of the buildings that you find a uniquely German tradition. So one thing I particularly like about New Glarus is all the German writing you'll see on these buildings. This particular one is at a bank. What it says is, Spare in der Zeit, so hast du in der Not. What that means is, save in time, and you'll have money when it's necessary. Basically, little thoughts about how to live a better life, and those are just put on the side of buildings. On the other side of the same bank, you'll see this insight. Geld ist weder Börs noch gut. Es liegt an dem, der es brauchen tut. That means money is neither good nor evil. It depends on who uses it. As you walk up to this building, you're greeted with Grüß Gott, Schritt ein, bring Glück herein. Greetings, step in, bring happiness in with you. Others are a bit more practical, like this one that says Uli der Pächter wohnt hier which means that a tenant by the name of Uli lives here. So while there's a range of things you could write on a building, usually this was done in old times in Germany and Switzerland as a way of helping you focus on what's really important. In other words, helping you be your best self to get through the day. If you're coming to the banking, for example, you might be thinking about, hey, saving money instead of spending it, and you do that consistently, you'll live a better life. So just like the Germans and Swiss would put inspiring sayings or thoughts on their buildings to help them be their best selves, today's challenge is to think about what do you do to help you be your best self? Do you think about times you were successful? Do you look at an inspiring quote? Do you pray? Do you talk to somebody to help you get your mood up? A lot of us do different things and different things work for us, but it does take work to be our best selves. So that's today's question. Discuss with people in your class what you do to be your best self. All right, you take care.